Hi guys, welcome to Top 10 Comedies on Netflix. Sorry, I spelled the title wrong. <laughs> Anyways, this is where I watch the movies for you so you don't have to. Um, if you didn't watch my previous horror one, I just want to again apologize for Netflix selection on movies because, again, my theory is that they are focusing more on their, like, um, pre uh, featured shows, like Orange is the New Black and stuff like that, so they're, you know, I don't know, spending less money or something on good movies, and they're getting much crap. <laughs> but, so, let's just say this list wasn't as easy as it was to find movies about two years ago, but let's go. Alright, starting with number 10, we have 13 going on 30. Yeah, this movie's so, it's not, it's a cute little comedy, I'm sure like a lot of people have seen it, I mean if you grew up like in the 2000s, well in the group in the 90s and were like, you know, pre-teen or whatever, in the 2000s, you remember this movie, like this girl Jennifer Garner, she's like super bullied and just a big nerd in high school, or middle school, I don't know, and it's like really embarrassing and she has this birthday and invites all the popular kids because she's dying to be popular and they just like they show up but just like screw her over those little assholes and and so like she like locks herself in her closet and wishes to be 13 or 30 i'm sorry she is 13 and um yeah and her wish becomes comes true and then it's kind of like one of those movies like careful what you wish for kind of thing and mark ruffalo is in it he's her love interest and, i don't know good actors keep movie i watched it all the time yeah good movie definitely a chick flick but hey why not Alright, moving on. Complete opposite. Tommy Boy. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone knows the premise to this movie. Um, just letting you know that it's on Netflix if you did not know that. And it's hilarious. Um, yeah, idiot takes over his dad's company and tries to save it. And goes on hijinks along the way. Yeah, it's one of those awesome movies that you can just put on the background and still love. Moving on. Eight. Zoolander. <laughs> I swear, if you don't know the premise of this movie, then you have been living under a rock. Um, <laughs> idiot supermodel trying to, like, save the supermodeling world from a crazy tyrant guy played by Will Ferrell. Yeah, awesome movie. I, I would have to meet you and, like, slap you if you didn't watch that movie. <laughs> Alright. Seven, Emperor's New Groove. If you love cartoons like I do, which I've noticed a lot of people on YouTube love cartoons, so you will love Emperor's New Groove. I'm sure you've seen it, but I mean, if you, it was a little bit earlier, like 2000s, I think, or late 90s, I don't know. But um, it's about this like super like, you know, um, greedy, like mean dictator dude um, who like wants to like, destroy this like little village on top of a mountaintop so he can turn it into a his like summer home so like the he like somehow like turns into llama and and he ends up in a forest and the guy's home who's you know, destroyed has to take him back and hell yeah it's just an awesome llama story come on llama story <laughs> all right anyways moving on six white chicks <laughs> I swear I still know like lines from this movie and I watched it forever ago and yeah I, it's one of those few movies that me and my sister have very fond memories of together like it gave me and my sister fond memories together and we do not get along so it's one of those movies that's just it's funny as how like I'm sure you guys know the premise but if you don't for some reason it's about like these two black FBI agents who like um, we're just, just like babysit these kind of like Paris Hilton sisters, but then like they end up like getting into car accidents, so they have to go undercover as them and infiltrate like this rich white society and just funny as shit. Good movie. Anyways, five. A night at the Roxbury. <laughs> um, again, if you grew up in the '90s, you know this movie. It is so funny, but if you don't. It stars um, Will Ferrell and I don't remember the other guy, but they're brothers and they're idiots and like they love chicks and they love partying and 
they're rich and they, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's no really like giant plot to this. Like Molly Shannon is obsessed with Will Ferrell, wants to get married to them, but basically the plot is that they just want to keep partying for life. Which hell yeah, that's a great premise for a movie. Partying for life. <laughs> Anyways, for Shanghai Nights. Um, to like fix all their cars because they only bought like of course like two thousand dollars and they're like totaled and they're like super nice cars because that's how nice it was and um, so he was able to make that money and uh, good burger and it's like this like makes a job from Kanan who's like this great fucking looting son of a bitch like oh my god and um He's like annoying the shit out of him, but then he offers him the job and he has to take it. And you know, there's like this crazy Andre Burger that opens up and he has everything he can do. He's like a plastic jacket. And he's like a plastic jacket. Nature, the author was actually a thing. They lost crazy nice stuff. So, total blast. Anyways, kids, that's what we prefer. No one must feel like into old stuff or old scenery. It's a man in the room. It's um, I gotta get it. It's honestly like one of my all-time favorite movies. They put it back on Netflix, but when they took it off, they actually bought the TV because, uh, yeah, I love it very much, but they put it back on. So good. Um, anyways, okay, so it's about like this girl. I don't know. She like. Okay, so he's been married to this dude, and like uh, his family, like his dad, like, doesn't like her because he's rich and he's worried that um, she wants to just marry his um, son for her money. And like, I mean, she is like, like it's a different day back in the day, so like, he doesn't mention like why he wanted to, but 
what makes us different is that she's not just there for the money. She like, she's like, she says something like, well, liking a man with money is the same thing as liking a girl that's pretty. You may like the money, but, or the money may help, but I mean, there's other things too. So she, she just a girl that appreciates money. Well, hey, good for her. Why not? <laughs> so it's just it's it's like a cute movie. There's comedy in it. It's um okay. I'll say this. I hate musicals. Okay, I've been to some expensive like ones in LA. Like no, I have walked out like no. I hate musicals. Like that. But I they consider this a musical apparently because they do like somehow like sometimes sing songs. But it's not like some cheesy, happy-go-lucky bullshit, like, wait, you know, all, like, jump out and, like, do some choreographs, like, song, like, I don't know, like, it's really, like, there was a really, one of my favorite songs, actually, like, um, Marilyn Sings, and it's really cute, she's kind of, like, serenading the guy, and there is, like, the background people do get into it, but it's, like, it's more cute than annoying, it's just, you have to really see it, it's not just all singing either, there's a total plot to it. Another thing I don't like about old movies is I don't know what the hell is going on usually, and they're usually black and white, and like all that bullshit, there's this color, like there's, yeah, you can totally follow the plot line, like, it's, I love the costuming, it's so gorgeous, and looking at all the costumes and jewelry and, and makeup, it's so cute, and honestly, like, if you can really look past the whole, like, sugar daddy thing, um, it's a really good movie, so. Yeah, honestly, one of the best movies ever, and I can see my Marilyn is so famous, and so watch it! Uh, anyways, number one, uh, Someone Mary Berry. Oh my god, when I found this movie on Netflix, it was like heaven. Okay, so this movie is like, so this guy Barry, he's just like the worst guy ever. He's hilarious, but he's just like, speaks his mind, like, he's just like rude, crude, just like, pretty much like Peter from Family Guy in person <laughs> and um he's like friends with like childhood like he's a like, group of friends with this childhood guys and like they loved him for all those shenanigans but then like they grew up and they got like ladies and stuff and now it's really embarrassing and so they try to find him a chick and it's just like uh <laughs> Yeah, so he's it's just uh, and then let's just say he finds a girl a lot like him. <laughs> so, anyways, that is my top ten countdown. And um, yeah, again, I'm sorry that a lot of those movies you probably have totally seen and stuff, and everyone knows about them. But really, like, <laughs> like the stuff that you haven't seen on Netflix, there's a reason why you haven't seen it. It's really bad. So I just put stuff on here that like if you didn't know is on Netflix and stuff and this is the stuff that's on right now um July 8th 2016. There might be more stuff added on at the end of the month. I don't know but um as of now this is stuff so if you are like me and have a Netflix watcher and like you know like to find good stuff here you go. Bye!